Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you some crafting I've been doing this weekend. Um, I've been a little bit under the weather and it's like two degrees here in New York today. So <clears throat> Valentine's is shot like we had plans to go out and I've been so sick and just we decided to just stay in. Um, so I just have been stuck in my craft room doing a little bit of crafting. And if you saw my video response for Lady S Crafts, you saw this box that I altered this weekend. Um, and these are some of the resin pieces and frames that I make, hand make, that I put on it. And I did show, <clears throat> um, sorry, excuse me guys, because I am sick. The purse charm that I made for her with, um, the purple hearts. And I just wanted to show another, um, purse charm that I just finished up for a friend. And this one I did in silver. And at the bottom, I have this really pretty chunky bead. Let's see if it'll focus. And I got this idea from Nurse Tara, where she showed how she got the little crown charms. And then she just let it dangle off the bottom. So I think it does look really cute um, off that chunky bead on the bottom. The way it just dangles. And this was gifted to me by Nurse Tara. I just hung it there at the bottom. Um, these are just some pink beads and some little hearts. So I was going with a pink theme and silver and then at the top there's a little clasp excuse my hands I know they're all beat up um, so I worked on that this weekend and I wanted to show some of the resin pieces that I made <clears throat> I crafted um, I, I cast a bunch of resin pieces but these are some of the small like I think these are two and a half inch um, frames that I make and these fit perfect in pocket letter sleeves I try to make them a little thin. So originally they come from um, this kind of frame that you get, the recollections frame that you get from Michaels. And I actually didn't make the mold. Let me see. Um, I purchased the mold online in a hard plastic. So these are specifically for resin casting. Um, but I do make out of amazing sculpt, what is it called? Uh, amazing mold putty or something the kind that I use for clay frames. So these are specifically, the hard plastic are specifically for casting resin and then the ones you can make yourself are the ones that I use for clay frames. But anyway, so I use that mold and look how pretty they are. So this is the original, very detailed, but really, really thick. Uh, I cast them really thin so that they can fit in the pocket sleeve. And I just think these are really pretty. This is a red one. Um, that's, I'm going to use on a Valentine craft that I'm finishing up today. And they look really pretty. So this is how it looks when you cast with regular glitter. This is a holographic purple glitter. And then I just have different pieces. Like this, for instance, is done with a glitter mix. And you can see like there's some square glitter in there. There's some little hearts floating around. But it's a good way to use up glitter mixes if you do that kind of thing. Or just um, plain old glitter. Really pretty either way. And these fit perfectly in pocket letter sleeves. I'm doing a swap for pocket letter embellishments. So I was just casting a few things. These also I think are really pretty for pocket letters. That That's cast also. Here's another one. And I have tons of, I made tons of these this week. Um, I do make some bling bows that look like this. So this is how they look after they're cast. So pretty. So those are the bows and those can be used to make paper clips or clothes pins or you know on a pocket letter and this I used a purple set like this on the box I altered for Lady S Crafts and I just cast these <clears throat> with glitter and then I use silver nail polish um, to give that mirrored look and I think these are so cute I love those little sets and then um, I have a bunch in the oven right now but I basically make these molds out of frames like that you purchase at Michael's so like this one is this and this came from a sticker frame and it's really cute actually so out of those I would make these kind so these are just polymer clay sculpey or female clay um, and you put it into the mold you squeeze it down so it takes the shape and then you gently lift it out and you bake them and then glaze them and this is the finished product and these are really thin as well and these can go in flip books or in pockets for pocket letters. And I think they're really pretty. So that's how the clay 
frames look. And I'll show you some other resin pieces. Hold on. Okay, so these are some tiny little um, perfume bottle resin pieces that I've made quite a few times um, and I've always gifted as friend mail. I really love these. These are my favorite resin pieces. These come off, these come from a um, Japanese mold called a Padigo mold. So the company name is Padigo. Here it goes, P-A-D-I-C-O. You can Google them. They're in Japan, but there are some people here who sell them. Um, oh, not, oh, what was her name? Crafters Delights had um, a store envy where she sold these. She's no longer selling them, though, so I'm not sure um, where you can find them. But this one has Eiffel Tower and a butterfly, and this is my famous perfume mold. So that's what I use, and this takes quite a while because you have to cast a few layers to get it right. So you have to cast the initial um, clear base. Ooh, sorry, guys, I had to pause so I could cough. Ugh. Um. So what was I saying? Okay. So the first pour is just the clear base, and then once that um, semi-cures, what I do is lay the flowers in there and move them around how I want them to look. Then I pour a little bit more resin, just a tiny bit layer on top of it to hold them in place because if you pour too much, they float up to the top. And then once that cures, then I pour the third layer, which includes the handle piece and then just the back. Um, so that's how they look. And then what I do is I use nail polish. So I use a gold metallic nail polish for the handles and then really pretty iridescent, just any different nail polishes that I have. And now that this is dry, what I'm going to do now is cast the, like dome the back and do a tiny resin pour just to make them solid. But this is how they come out. And these are my favorite resin pieces to make. The flowers I've just purchased on eBay, they're like a buck or two in a little container, like a little wheel with flowers. And I love it because they look like little tiny um, real perfume bottles with flowers floating in them. So those are resin pieces that I also made. And then <clears throat> I was watching some um, videos by Feliz Love Paper. And she's doing some really pretty flip books right now. But she showed how to make these fringe embellishments. And I think they're really cute. They're basically just circle punches. And then you trim in different layers and you fringe the bottom and glue it all together and then you just embellish it a little. So I think these are cute for um, flip books or also for pocket letters. So these are some of the ones that I made and I'm gifting all of these um, for a swap I'm doing. Look how cute <laughs> with a little Hello Kitty. And you can put stickers and these are tiny little, actually tiny little printouts that I do on cardstock and then I just cut them out and glue them down so those are like two inch circles I think and then I made the tiny little <clears throat> these are one inch punches and then a, like a one and a half inch scalloped punch so I used textured cardstock and then I just used scrap paper to punch out circles for the middles and what I do is when I'm um, die cutting and I have scraps left over I literally just use a punch and I do this, I punch out flower, um, flowers, butterflies, hearts, but usually hearts because I love how these look um, out of all the scraps before I get rid of them. And I just keep those as embellishments. So I made a few like that. And these would look really cute glued to a paper clip or um, just in your on your sheet for your pocket sleeves or in your flip book. I thought that was so cute. <clears throat> and then, excuse me, and then also um, Felice Love Paper has a tutorial on how she uses up scraps, um, like edges. And, and um, so what I did is, I'll show you, I just have this plastic container for something I purchased. And I literally have just pieces of scrap that I don't like to throw my scrap out. And these are the words that I print out, but I have all chunks of paper. Um, little pieces, little scraps that I haven't punched hearts out of. And um, she was showing how she just saves all of these scraps and trims them down. And then she was giving ideas on how to make these kind of embellishments, paper embellishments, that would look really cute 
um, in flip books as well or in pocket sleeves. <clears throat> so these are a few of the ones that I made and I'm going to put these into my swap. But look how cute these look, guys. These are just literally pieces of scrap. And I just notched them and put some rhinestones and some little pieces. <clears throat> and they're just tons of layers. And if you want to see her process, they are so much nicer than the ones I've done. Um, her channel's called Felice Love Paper. And this is one of her newer um, videos. So you can go and check her out. Look how cute that is. I made this one out of the edge of some leftover cardstock and extra um, paper punch I had. Um, die cut of the word hello. I thought that was cute. <clears throat> and then this one with a little sticker on it. So just pieces, literally pieces of scrap that I showed you. Um, and this one I just fringed and I put a little triangle piece in the back and then they have little enamel dots or little rhinestones and I just think those are really 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 cute um, and a fun little embellishment and actually a really fun way to use up your scraps because I'm like a hoarder <laughs> I refuse to throw my scraps away um, so I guess that's it that's basically what I've been crafting all weekend have you guys been crafting too I was watching D these special things and she always says have you guys been crafting tell me what you've been crafting um, and I love to watch her. I've been watching her videos this morning. So that's what I've been doing. Let me know what you think. And if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Bye, guys.